hello and welcome to DevSkillesk Task Tips. My name is Philip, IT Project Manager, and I will be your guide today. Here we have the summary where we can find all the task types, which in this case will be multi-choice, code gaps, essay, database, DevOps, and programming. We've got the tested skills and suggested time. When it comes to the programming tasks, you can also check and see the suggested environment. At the very bottom, we also have the total test type. If you prefer a darker mode, you can always enable it here in the upper right corner. It is also possible to change the contrast of the interface. Once you've agreed to the terms of the assessment, you can start the test. You have a timer at the very top, which you can hide if it's too stressful for you. The first task is an SQL multi-choice task. After marking the answer, you can continue. Are you sure? It seems that you finished questions ahead of time. If you proceed, you won't be able to get back and modify your answer. Yes, I am sure I want to continue and I do not want this pop up again. Now we've got a code gap task where we just need to complete the gap with the appropriate line of code. This one is an essay task. It's about the difference between backend and frontend. What you need to do is write your answer in the text box. Importantly, this needs to be checked manually by your recruiter. Now we are dealing with an SQL database task. We need to write the whole query. This will be my query. To check it, we can click the button Run and Validate. And as you can see, we've got success with the query result matching the expected result. This is a DevOps type task, which is a bit different from the previous ones because in this case we need to connect to a server. If you are using Linux or Mac OS, you just need to use the connect command and the given password. Or if you are using Windows, you need to use a third party host client and again, use the username and password and connect to the server. Once you've connected to the server, you can complete the task. If you want to know more about how to operate using DevOps tasks, read the article in the description down below. The last one is a programming task, which has three options. Git repository, download upload code, or in-browser editor. In this case, we will go for in-browser editor, IntelliJ. Again, you can see the timer here, which you can hide if it's more convenient for you. We can also open the task's description and switch between modes. It's possible to move this piece of interface around if it's more convenient for you. You can also minimize it. We've got our files here on the left. At the top right corner, you can run all the tests. And let's do that. As you can see, the tests are being run and we've got five tests failing. We need to go to the relevant folder and fix the issues. We have all the folders here and you can open any file that you think needs any changing. Once you've completed the task, you can click finish here and finish the test.